Hello everybody, I am Mars Capone and this is Hogwarts Legacy. And as you can see I'm in Hogsmeade. Yeah, it appears to be night time. And uh, I, I've come here to complete some quests. Like this one. Back from your latest flight? Yeah. I want to hear all the particulars. Here you go. Uh. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale yeah. course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does mm -hmm. get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I see. Mm -hmm. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. No if problem. it means another upgrade, the pleasure's yeah. all mine. <laughs> you sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, mm -hmm. you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Sweet. Thank you again, truly. Where are you? Oh, here. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did. And we're actually working together. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Okay, that's a good then idea. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. I'll try my best. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy mm. Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. Oh yeah, yeah she's I remember lovely. Her. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. Oh. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. Yeah. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her oh. supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. Oh. A box um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Should be doable. Why does she have a Wigan Weld supply? Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan Weld potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioneer. Mm. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan Weld potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. Mm. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Okay. And why did you leave a box why of letters? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was oh. clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. <laughs> Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. Right. You're welcome to take a peek inside. Really? If you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Okay. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me and to Dorothy. Cool. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Oh. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it's it. It's somewhere in between here and there. Okay. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Yeah, I've been there. Please do give Dot my love. Okay, cool. I don't know if I've been to Hogsmeade uh, since I can pick a lock, so let's do that for a bit. Hello, Hamora. That's one. What do we have in here? I'm just gonna check all these houses. I feel no shame. We do have a chest. That's about it, I think. Rebellion. I found something. Enchanted staircase. This enchanted staircase in tomes and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts. I see all kinds of stuff there, but I don't know how to get there. Do you have a door behind you, maybe? Huh? I guess you do. Okay, well... Don't mind me. Oh, you there. Uh, I came for this. Nice. And, ooh. And we need to hide ourselves... ...from the box. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah! Got him. 
sweet. It never occurred to me to, to, to look behind this guy. It feels very rude to just walk behind the counter, but oh well. I do have some money. A little bit, not very much. Should I... Oh, beast feeder, does it automatically feed them? Ooh. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Yeah, exactly. Aha! I think I see something here. Right around the corner. You don't mind me going in here, do you? Sweet. Finally found one that's level 1. Didn't realize how many level 2 and 3 locks there were in Hogsmeade. Cozy looking house. Does this just go outside? <laughs> Interesting. I'll fix him. That charm grinder. Who are you? Sir, is everything all right? <laughs> How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. Mm. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. What'd he do? He cut me out of our herbology supply business, mm. just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. Okay. I'll show him volatile. <laughs> How frustrating. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. Who's Ruth but Singer? But no one would suspect a student. <laughs> hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I honestly don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Should I do this? Sure. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice oh, when yeah. I see one. Take for as justice. many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Find another lock. This one's uh, at the top of the inn. <laughs> what do we have here? A demigod. Oh, crap. Oh. Rebellion. Three Broomsticks Private Room. The Three Broomsticks Private Room is a secluded space off the main room of the pub. Hogwarts professors appreciate having a separate area in which to gather to avoid encountering students. Perhaps, unsurprisingly, the students appreciate their professors having a separate area as well. Nice. And another chest. Ooh. And I changed it back to night to pick up this demi guys. I don't know if there's any penalty to s switching a lot between uh, between day and night. I don't think time will pass based on how many days and nights pass. I think it's linked to the main quest. I hope. <laughs> and if not, uh, we'll find out. I'll, uh, I'll graduate before I know it. Ah, I never found this one. These shoots in the post office magically sort various bits of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 owls, color-coded based on how quickly a particular letter or parcel needs to be delivered. Yeah. I like this place. It's a nice post office. This must be it. Oh! I wasn't really looking for this, but uh, I guess. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular. I guess I gotta be secretive about this. I guess I don't want... Yeah, I don't want to... Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. <laughs> Is there anything else? Oh, he's seeing me. Don't mind me, sir. It's fine. Oh, ooh, there's lots of stuff here. Like a chest, for example. I did see something else on the map. Oh, I'm sorry. That's money. Nice. Don't come this way, please. Hmm. I 
hear all kinds of pitter patter. Ooh, it's a locked door. Some more money. I think this leads back to him, doesn't it? No, maybe not. Aloha, Mora. Here we go. It doesn't lead back to him, does it? It does lead back to him. Oh man, how is this so big? <laughs> what kind of basement is this? Uh, I guess it's there. I can't go through here. Guess I gotta go here first. Oh, there's spiders here. Uh. Oh, you wanna be... Let's see. I wanna try this. I don't have Descender on my bar. Crap. Um. Let's see. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, that he survives that. Okay. Oh boy. Oh wait, I can do this. So many spiders. There's a lot of spiders here. Oh no, don't do that. Is someone gonna I thought someone would jump at me. There we go. I was a little late! Hmm. Are you alive? Oh, I'm okay. Thanks. Come here. Nice. Uh. They're so... They have so much health. Uh, you know what? I can do this. Okay, let's pick up this. Where are you? Noise. Not too shabby. Is there another one on the map? Oh, yeah, you're right here. Oh, okay. Beautiful. What's this? Oh, I don't have room for mandrakes. <laughs> oh, I do have room for these, though. Thank you. And we're getting close. It's right here. What's this? Okay. Well. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, nice. I should return to Mr. Barnes. I probably should, right? Well, since we're here... Did that errand for me yet? I did, actually. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Mm. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. Thank I'll you. take it off your hands now. Of course. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall <laughs> make an ocean of galleons, mm. and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Yeah. Here's a little something for your Ooh. next trip to Zonko. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, to see the look on Lordy's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. So we've never been to this store before. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Duracool feather, it doesn't half hurt. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot okay. of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. <laughs> Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Okay. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because wow. we don't even have a Mia. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derricall feathers? I don't know. Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. 
used to carry them in the shop, Dory calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted <laughs> things would be nowhere in sight. Okay, thank you. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. <laughs> most of the I don't want to know. Whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, okay. I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvelous feathers. <laughs> mm. Almost worth going mad for. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. It does. Truer words never spoken. Mm -hmm. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault what? if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. <laughs> Ooh, you should have heard them. No. <laughs> Best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Mm -hmm. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Yeah. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Mm -hmm. Stocks change all the Ooh, time. Okay. And not just because they disappear. <laughs> Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. Okay. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I will. Thank Take you. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. Ah, thank you. So, uh... What do you have for sale? Let's have a look. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts oh. might you be looking to acquire? I don't know, honestly. What is this? Unicorn hair? Hmm. Proprietor Alipack is a fierce protector of beasts and will give you a fair price for any beast in need of a safe home. Brood and Pack is the shop to visit for beast byproducts like Hooper Feathers and Niffler Fur. Nice. Oh, there's a chest here. It's some money. Nice. Lovely place, this. I can escape. I'm gonna let all the beasts out, I oh, know. Another level one lock. And. Mine now, Demi guys. Oh, are you. Is it nighttime? Is it nighttime still? Where are you? Where are you? You're really close. I can feel you, I can smell you. Grab this thing, please. Oh, there you are. It is night time. Quickly, quickly. Nice. And a big chest. Ooh, an unidentified outfit item. Okay, one more then. And there's a big chest here. And another moon? Jeez. It's still night time? It's still night time. Okay, one more then. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything too special here though. A, a bag with some money. Rebellion. Oh, this leads right back into uh, the candy store. Interesting. Okay, final one, I promise. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm always scared by the... By the lock. Demi, guys. Oh, do we? I'm always scared by the lock flying into my face. I always wonder what it is, but it's it's the lock flying into my face. Well, I guess I have to make it nighttime again. It just turned daytime. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Ooh, actually, that's the ninth one. Sweet. Also, we do have four of Zenobia's gobstones left after giving them all back to her. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, we can take these back to Mr. Moon. I found something. Nice. Do we have time for a quick uh, Merlin trial? I don't know what to do. Ooh, I gotta set him on fire? Or blow him up? <laughs> Any more volunteers? There we go. Nice. Tricky after all, Merlin. Did it. I'm here in Upper Hogsfield for the quest that Serona gave us, and uh, they have locked doors here as well. <laughs> yeah, so let's open them. I think I have to go all the way around. And. Ooh, diamond jumper school uniform. And another one. 
And I believe there's a Demiguise statue in here. Sweet. And a, a beer. Maybe a chest? Revelio. No chest. There it is. <laughs> it's well hidden. There we go. Sweet. Freestanding clock. Nice. 